Today I am going to show you how to convert your TV into a media center or you can say a smart TV using your Raspberry Pi 0 or a Pi 2 or Pi 3 and such that you can browse your media files that is present in your local network and enjoy them in your widescreen TV. You can use either a Pi 0 or a Pi 2 or Pi 3 for this project. If you are using a Pi 0, you will need a mini HDMI to HDMI adapter and a OTG cable. If your Pi doesn't have Wi-Fi, you will need a USB Wi-Fi adapter. The operating system that we are going to use is Liberalac. This is a minimal install of Raspbian with Kodi Media Player installed. First, go to the Raspbian download page. Under the third-party operating system images, select Liberalag. You can also go directly to the Liberalag website and click on the downloads at the top of the page. In the download space, you can also download a USB SD creator to burn your image to an SD card. Towards the bottom of the page, you can select the image of your choice, whether you want to download an, an image for the Pi 0 or an image for the Pi 2 or Pi 3 and download the image to your computer. Now insert the micro SD card into the Raspberry Pi and connect the Pi to your TV unit using an HDMI cable. Make source in the TV as HDMI and power your Raspberry Pi. Now we need to configure our Pi such that it is able to connect to our local server to access our media files. While connecting for the first time you might need a keyboard or a mouse. First, go to the settings tab at the top left part of the default page. Now select the Liberalag settings tab. In the page that opens, browse to the connections option. You can connect your Pi either through a LAN cable or Wi-Fi. So here I am using both Wi-Fi and a LAN cable to connect to my network. After being connected to your local network, you can now start adding media source one by one. For this, first go to the Movies tab from the default page and then browse your NAS server or shared folder of your Windows home network. You might have to add your username and password to access those files. We have now completed setting up our Raspberry Pi. Now we need to work on our remote. Uh, for this I am using my Android phone. First, uh, you have to go to your Android Play Store and install the remote control software mm -hmm. named Yatsi. Now connect your phone to your local network through Wi-Fi and open the Yatsi software. Now Yatsi should automatically detect any code system that is attached to the network. So now select the code system that you need to control and click 
on the remote option. So here you have arrows to navigate along with the select button. You can move to the home page, has mute options and many other options.